Okay, we're downstairs. Uh, Champ and Lady live in a split level, and so the dogs are upstairs. One of the guardians is about to knock on the door and pretend to be the guest. We have established a line on the floor right here, and the rule is the dogs are not allowed to cross on this side of the line. They need to stay over here or stay on the carpet where I am now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the escalating consequences I went over with you guys upstairs off camera to claim the area around the door before I actually open it. So uh, I, I asked the guardian to knock like crazy. She's going to knock right now. You have a good door. She can't hear. Go ahead. Now, normally, they'd be racing down here, correct? Okay, there we go. All right. No barking normally. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to claim the area. And I'm going to focus on one dog at a time. I keep my hips pointed at him. Take one step back and I lead the dog. So when he comes forward, I, there we go, he stepped back. So I always take a step back and the dog sits. Now I'm going to come and get behind the second dog while I'm keeping my hips pointed here. And I'm going to march her away. Now I take a step back and I pause and I read the dog so they stay in place. If they do, I can take another step back. Now, when I go to answer the door, I'm going to break it down into individual steps. You see, as soon as I did that, he started to come forward because that sound to him tells him the dog's coming forward. So if you, I don't need my face in this. Try to get my uh, hands and them together. So I want to break down answering the door into individual steps so they can process it. Now, if you see his tail is actually lowering, that shows that he's less um, uh, commanding, really, for lack of a better word. All right, so I do this a couple times, then I'm going to go to the next one. I was going to cry. Again, timing. He sat down. She's still challenging. Now, she doesn't have to get her, uh, go that far away, but I'm trying to establish it to begin with. So now when I open it, I'm going to open it behind me while I keep my hips and shoulders pointed here. If I turn to greet my guest, they're going to run up behind me. This is not a realistic way to answer your door when it's a real guest, but because you guys live in a secured parking lot, you guys have the ability to know that, you know, who whatever it is. Um, so there we go. Now they're both laying down. Now I can take another step back and I can invite the guest to come in and the guest is going to stay behind me. Go ahead. So they're excited to see her and they know who it is. She's only gone a minute, but they're staying behind the line. Now I'm not going to disagree, but I'm keeping my hips pointed at her because he's staying, he's uh, in a down position. Now if she were to cross the line, then I rush towards her until she gets on this side of the line. Um, and when I do this, take a big, bold step. Don't ever step and hold like this or go slow movements like uh, are interpreted as indecisive. So I'm going to step forward. I'm going to do it with gusto, bold, and I'm going to square up my, my feet after each one. Um, so this way we can have a guest come over. If they're not a dog person, the dogs don't get to interact with the guest at all. You can film me for this party. Um, so the dogs are only allowed to interact with the guest once the guest cross the threshold here or cross the threshold there. They're the ones who are doing the work. This will help them practice self-restraint and discipline. And the structure helps them see that the human is answering the door. Security for the pack is typically handled for the, by the top dog. So if I communicate by through my actions of taking control of this, this would be good if you had that. That was a probe. Can I, get, can I approach? And so I disagreed right before she broke the plane. Um, so if I take over security, this makes me more of an authority figure or makes you guys the authority figure. And if you have a guest comes over and not a dog person, the dogs don't get to interact. The distance helps the dog stay a little bit more calm. And then the guest feels more comfortable and confident because, wow, what well-behaved dogs you have. We just established a little bit of a boundary. So this is how we claim the area around the door.